Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoinka has said Nigeria needs reconstruction, reconfiguration, and decentralization to maximize its development. The renowned playwright stated these at a lecture to mark the 50th anniversary of the Punch newspaper in Lagos. The professor who was the main speaker at the event said most leaders in Nigeria were only comfortable with the word reconstruction before they got to the office, and they soon forgot about it after they assumed power. Our correspondent Paul George now reports. The labor of our heroes past shall never, never be in vain. Gathered in this hall for this public lecture are giants in different strata to celebrate the golden jubilee of Punch newspaper's pedigree, prestige, and promise. Nobel laureate Wale Shoinka is here to give a lecture. He says most conferences on decentralization only brought people together for a charade and warned that it was time that people stopped taking the nation for granted. Drawing from different narratives in Nigeria, the Nobel laureate asked rhetorically whether the Nigerian civil war has really ended and what's wrong with the plebiscite. Is the civil war really over? And civil wars will continue as long as civil society, governance especially, gives cause to place people under such strain that they begin to question whether they can claim national belonging. What's wrong with the plebiscite? What's wrong with determining the will of a people at any given time? I prefer the expressions like reconfiguration, decentralization. In his remarks, Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohammed Idris Malagi, commends Punch newspaper for its contribution for being among the few newsprints that has helped the country to reshape its narrative. Punch has been here for 50 years. And what that tells you is that uh, it is a story of resilience, trust, hard work, and commitment to the Nigeria project. Speaking, Chairman Punch this, this and daughter of the founder of the New Sprint, Angela Emua, says our family was able to sustain the organization through proper accountability and discipline as they look forward to a new height. This is the new 50 years. You can expect that um, we will be more innovative. We will come up with new strategies to make sure that we're Ahead of, the game, ahead of our game. Dignitaries, including former Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, praised the Punch newspaper for their doggedness and forthrightness in championing democracy. They spoke alongside Dane Taiwo Ajayi Lysit. When the time, the, the Abacha period, Punch was on the lead, like other papers, other journalists who fought for democracy. I think just as everybody is celebrating their success, their success will include the fact that the Nigerian democracy that everybody is enjoying for now, even though there are challenges, extreme challenges, were part of the achievements of Nigerian journalists and Nigerian newspapers like Punch that led it. The first generation, if I call them, of the media was the private press in the country. The private press died. Punch reinvented the private press. When it came back, it, there was the predominance of government press. Now, as we speak today, it is the private press that is thriving. And government newspapers are dead. So we are here to celebrate the longevity of life, not only of the punch, but also the survival of the private press in the country. The, the Nigerian media is not aware that it's the fourth estate of the realm. The media here has not entirely recognized that it's as powerful as the, as the president. When they mention media, the president should be pissing in his pants because he should be very careful how he, he, what he does because he knows that the media will dissect his every, uh, every action. As the occasion winds down, the guests and Nigerians present hope for improved and unadulterated news reportage from Nigerian journalists. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.